Hey y'all, what is freaking up, up? Your girl is currently driving. Oh, it was pretty hot. Let me let's bust out the fan. All right, you guys. So, hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day Seven. Your girl is on track, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun today. Well, maybe, maybe. Your girl has on right now on her lips. It is um color. No, nope. what color is this? For sure, for sure, this is from, do I not remember the name? Okay, I don't remember the name, but this is from Lime Crime. Okay, the sun's not doing any justice. This is from Lime Crime. I only have a wink on, no eyelashes. And um, we're on our way to see baby a a Ron. So let's see how this is goes. He is a newborn. And hopefully we are going to be probably taking pictures. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, he's a newborn. So that's like the perfect time to take pictures. But I heard he's very, very calm, which is a plus on taking photography. I'm just taking pictures on a child. And um, yeah, so we're pretty soaked and excited for that. And uh, what else is on the list? Today is my little sister's birthday. God, how cute. They're building a... A tree, look! Look at that Christmas tree! Okay, we're gonna keep on driving though. Oh, snaps! I was supposed to turn here. Okay, that's fine. We ain't turning there. I messed up! It's cool. You gotta worry about it. I'll probably turn on the next one. So today, babe is gonna come through because he's gonna celebrate, hopefully. Then again, like, we don't really know what we're gonna plan because apparently she has a soccer game so she's not gonna be at home so she'll probably be home around six it's still not pretty late so it's actually pretty good timing still Ooh, let's go through here because this is where it says to turn oh great right now now we're gonna go up i'm thinking of getting her a cake from 85 cafe if my parents don't mind me getting the cake if they do mind me getting the cake, then I guess they'll just get it themselves, you know? Oh, or I could go to Portals and get her the red velvet cake. <gasps> I mean, she kind of likes what I like, to be honest. But um, I think I'll just save that for her 18th birthday because it's really like a really, really, really cute birthday. Like Portals ha does like little roses around it. So it's like, oh my God, I forgot about Tina. <gasps> Who's getting her the cake? One of my besties, her birthday is going to be on this month as well. And um, she doesn't watch my YouTube for what I know. So we're good in this case. I'm still not going to give like a full preview of it. But it's a Disney character for sure. I'm obsessed with Little Mermaid. And I love Little Mermaid. Although, although her story is kind of not proper although her story is like she got married at age 18 or probably younger because she was a 16 year old singing so you know it was like a 16 year old going through a rebel stage but you know but i do love a lot of disney princess um i'm a disney girl i like to have collection i love the evil queen i like maleficent like the disney villains is all about me um but i'm thinking of getting her a few items from Disney but I need to first see if she doesn't have the item because I know she's a collection freak um, of the character from Disney so the good thing is that we're on our way to the house so we're gonna be sneaking through I mean we still have about two weeks but you guys I work in retail so it's gonna be hella pack during this time right now oh we're almost there wow that was a pretty fast drive she don't leave that far from me oh girl for those who are new um, to my channel, I am Jules Julia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if anything that you guys want me to check out. Now, your girl ain't funny. We already established that. Woo, baby bear, you was going too damn fast. You about to rear smash me. And we don't like being rear smashed. For those who guys are drivers, let me know what is your craziest encounter within a driving situation? Honestly, my biggest fear is being squished between two big trucks. Like, I cannot, if there's a truck on the left side and a truck on the right side, I will not drive in the middle. I will either wait 
or move to the other lane. And if anyone wants to go through, they can go through because I'm not willing to stop traffic and I'm not willing to go through them either. Um, today I ended up watching Remy's blog, well, vlog, not blog, vlog. I ended up watching her Christmas vlog um, for day six. And congratulations to Remy. She has a new razor with Gillette Venus, which is like an amazing, ooh, it is an amazing opportunity because hello, girl is adulting girl i mean who doesn't use razors i use razors i like my razors but i kid you guys not my sisters okay we're a house full of girls girls we're literally a house full of girls so keep in mind sharing is a need so i buy multiple packs of razors from ds Woo. i buy multiple razors sets of threes because someone always takes one. I mean, I'm not getting paid good. I'm not getting paid bad. I'm getting paid pretty decent, I guess. But honestly, I it's been too long. And I need to strive for something else. Because this is not even... I mean, I'm looking for something a little bit higher with my pay. Because I do get compensation. And obviously, if you divide that compensation per hour. You know, your girl gets a little bit paid above... But it's not as much as I would like because obviously your compensation does vary every time. It's not something subtle. Like if the company would only give you 1%, okay, 1% of what you sell, like I think a lot of people are going to want to come through and try to work here and sell as much as they can because of that. But no, the company wants to be a colos and they give you a certain amount of percentage if you make a certain amount. So if you make your goal a hundred percent, you get paid out uh, like a really like a it's like probably like a zero point two percent of what you ended up selling. Literally, it's not that much, which sucks because you're over here. You're, not only you're the face of the company, but you're also getting talked by customers. Excuse my language, but not only that, like customers are also disrespecting you, and you have to tolerate that because of customer service. And I don't tolerate as much of anything to be honest. Oh, I only have literally 50 cents. Mm. Sometimes I like carrying cash for that reason because I do feel bad for these guys. Like, I do understand us what a struggle is. And I mean, like, sometimes you guys, it's hard. Like, it's really hard, one, trying to succeed in life and it's hard because we are not in the high class to begin with but then again it's like all this generation is not up to technology and they're just living their life whatever they can live and it sucks it totally freaking sucks but guys i'm gonna succeed and i'm going to figure this out i'm still pretty young okay i'm still pretty young i've made a lot of mistakes i've wasted a lot of time and i feel stupid for doing it and it sucks knowing that there's a lot of people out there homeless and i mean there's enough money to go around there's enough money to sustain one but you know some people over abuse one the system of generosity that one the governor gives the government gives and it's like fuck like a lot of us once you get enough certain amount of money it's not enough anymore you grow for more and you want more and with me it's never been about that like i've never been a person that was so ambitious to need money i'm always grateful for what i have but it's like time flies you're getting older you need to be more ambitious you need to grow more within what you want and i want this i want to be able to live life every day as i want as i please and same thing with my family like you guys literally in two years i want to take my dad to japan like we want like he wants to go to tokyo and time is precious time has no limits and you never know when there is actually another day that you can live to survive so obviously there's that's a place i want to take my parents especially my father because he deserves everything oh i'm getting so emotional okay i'm almost there to baby aaron's house and i'm gonna stop because i'm getting so emotional it's funny how <laughs> we go from like up high pitch yay and then from like feeling sad and blue oh my god but um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see baby A.A. Ron. You guys, I literally have no freaking lashes. It's so funny. I'll see you guys 
when we're at a round tilt. Oh, oh no! What is that? A bug is on my window. Ah, okay, gotta go. Bye. So I'm in charge of eating the damn cake, right? Now tell me why there is a hell of traffic and people can't drive and people are really desperado for this. It's like, are you serious, you guys? We're still gonna get to our point A and point B destination. Like, you guys need to chill the freak off. And there's these police officers that aren't doing anything and these people are just breaking the damn law, going to like different freaking lanes. And it's like the most ridiculous thing. Why did they stop this poor man? Like, it better not be for something stupid. They do not need four damn cops for something so stupid for an elderly young man. Like, are you serious? Like, if they're gonna stop this guy for some stupid reason, I swear to God, I'm gonna curse these mother flippers off. Like, sheriffs sometimes, I swear, they don't even know what they're doing. They, many of them believe that they can bypass their law, which just doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Anyways, literally, I'm just gonna go get a piece of cake. Not even a piece of cake. I'm here to get the damn cake. And it's literally taking me literally 30 minutes just to get the damn cake. Will you also let me go through then? Thank you. Well, now come on, yeah. It's just a damn cake. Like, all I need is a damn cake. Like, thank you very much for those for being kind. You're, it's really appreciated. But anyways, I'm almost here. I'm going to go get the cake. I'm going to look for parking right now, actually. And I'll see you guys when I got the cake. Alrighty guys, it is the end of the night and I did visit a Aaron slash Aaron, which he was like the most adorable baby ever. And um we also ooh, like buddy, can you get us choose a sad? And then we also ended up celebrating my little sister's my little demon <laughs> birthday, which she's 17 and everything. My sister unfortunately she was under the influence. Can you like not drive any closer? And you know, at points she's funny, but she's very aggressive when it comes with her being under the influence. And it's not something that I really like when I'm around her. I just prefer to avoid it, to be honest. Today was a crazy driving day. By that I mean people are don't know how to drive and literally it was okay for less than a mile of a drive it literally took me over 15 minutes even longer just to go from point a to point b which is ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous i'm just really upset because you guys i'm like really really holding on to tears for them not to freaking fall but i'm really really upset because there's there's something in life that I know what I want to try. And it feels like, it really, really just feels like, although you dream, you guys, keep dreaming. Doesn't matter who puts you down. If you want something, reach for it, get it. Don't let anyone destroy your dream. Yeah, I'm being vulnerable and I'm crying on the internet, which is fine because I'm human and I can do it and I'm not ashamed of crying because it's a natural thing that everyone should do. Everyone once in a blue moon should be crying. But I'm really upset within myself because there's a goal that I want to reach and time is of the essence and time is where it's going to tell me when or how long does it take me to reach that goal? And I'm not a funny person, so it may just take longer for it. Do not let anyone control your life, but best believe it will take time. It will take time. And sometimes time does put pressure on one, but always, always be kind to yourself because you don't deserve as much pain but keep in mind that the pain that you're feeling now will move on and you will see what you worked for so much what you have worked for so, for so freaking much you will see it paid off 
Now, that's the faith that I'm holding on to. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's such a cheesy. It's like the... And I'm honestly... I'm, a, I'm not a cute crier. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> I'm not a cute crier at all. <laughs> but this isn't how I wanted to end this video. But hey, we're not always going to have a perfect video, which is fine. <sighs> we're not always going to have a perfect day. We're always going to have ups and downs, but you have to bring the best of it. And, I, and the best of it was not only seeing my boob, but it was also seeing my friend and seeing that newborn and my little sister having another year. And that's the blessings that I'm counting and having a family dinner all together. Those are the blessings that I'm counting on for this day and keep in mind you guys always count your blessings no matter how hard the day is no matter how rough it was if you just had one blessing that's the blessing you should hold on to and that's a blessing you should be fighting for and if you don't have any blessing hey at least you're living another day and you're figuring out how to succeed i hope you guys really actually see these videos entertaining and just shoot for what you love to do oh sweetheart can you like relax a little bit just that was a car by the way just dream to the biggest you can dream and reach for what you can and want and try harder every time so before this vlog and after me falling on my eyes, I want to let you know I support you. And I hope that's enough for you to strive for more. I'll see you guys in the next vlog because I will be calling it a night. I'm going to edit this.